Since 2011, say on pay laws give a firm's shareholders the right to vote on the financial earnings of its executives by voting for or against. It gives shareholders a voice on how their firm is run and tends to boost its market value and long-term profitability. But on the other hand, it also gives shareholders an opportunity to perpetuate any gender preferences they may have. So are shareholders more or less likely to approve of executive salaries depending on gender? To investigate, researchers examined a large sample of US-listed firms between 2011 and 2016. It turns out that when it comes to the salary of CEOs, shareholders vote against higher pay irrespective of gender. However, at the non-CEO executive level, things are different. Among non-CEO executives, firms that distribute more of their pay to females are less likely to receive supporting votes by shareholders. Therefore, while female CEOs are not financially disadvantaged by say-on-pay laws, providing shareholders with greater influence on executive compensation may have generated an unintended consequence for female non-CEO executives. So when setting say-on-pay regulations, policymakers may need to adopt a more nuanced approach that distinguishes between executive ranks if they are to properly address pay inequalities.